Ho, ho. Good man, Tony. Nope. Oh. Oh. He's bleeding like a pig. What did you think of that? Can you believe that? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not what I want. I want it to be more open, but you, we couldn't do it. That was good. Oh, Tony, Tony. Hey, you are M H M. <laughs> what that means? Moose hunting hey. machine. <laughs> hey Daniel Reed. Yeah. Fell down. You watch the moose. Watch him. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you deserve that one, Dion. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. Oh my god, my legs are shaking now. I can't believe it. This really happened, man. How far away? It's about 26 yards. 26 yeah. yards? I wouldn't show how far it was. Why don't you come forward? 26, so I put the between the 20 and the 30 yard pin. Just a little bit further back than I wanted, but he's bleeding like a pig. Feels good, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Believe it, this is like oh, wicked. Let's go over. Yukon moose in the Yukon. We think a bow and arrow. That's right. We think he's down. We're not sure, so we're gonna take our time and go over and see. Oh, it's over, Daniel. You gotta be kidding. It's over. He's looking for me. Can't see him, but I can. Oh, it's over, Daniel. Why you do this to me? Oh my God. I got a moose, man. <laughs> Here comes Tony. Oh, check out his beautiful, beautiful bull. What a dream. What? I'm having a dream. I'd say he's done. He's done. Or something else, man. Oh. Oh, my God. Team Daniel, <laughs> what a team! Oh. What a team! Oh man! Try to lift it up. I can't lift it up. Yeah, there you go. That way. Oh, 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 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Thirty-one. Oh. Daniel, a thirty-one point bull. He has fronts. One side got one, two, three, four, five, six. The other side got one, two, three, four, five, six. Daniel didn't understand you when you said 31. It's 31. <laughs> he said it's not 31, it's 31. <laughs> 31, 31. Oh my God. Good old Don from McMillan River Adventures hires the best of the best guides on this earth. Okay, where are we from? <laughs> from Newfoundland. There you go. Yeah. That's the important thing to say. <laughs> oh. oh. I was guided by the best Newfies there is. Woo! Woo! Look at those antlers, boys. Oh my god. That is wicked. Wicked. Newfie talk now. Newfie talk, yeah. Go for it. You deserve everything you want. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! As I rewatch these God, videos of the, of the Yukon, of even the other videos that I've, I've bought in the store up. and oh, yeah. my own videos, the videos still don't do it justice for the size of the animals and the antlers. Oh, it's just amazing. He didn't go far at all. No. He couldn't. Tony was shooting them.
Look at that arrow. Where have we seen this before? <laughs> the mystical flight of the arrow. Oh, those fronts are wicked. Oh, my God. Hey, Ralph and Vicki, thank you for recommending this place. You're right. Hunt of a lifetime. And this is why we hunt. <laughs> 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 right, Ralphie. <laughs> oh God. Z7. Matthews. Okay, here's official score of the its total width. There you go. Put it on the the widest For one. This what? Would be this right here. No, 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 no. Try this one up here first. That one. No. Next one down. There you go. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Fifty-six inch spread. What? Well, Congratulations, buddy, on your yeah. first Yukon moose. Oh, my God. Dion, thank you, thank you, thank you. You made a dream come true like you can't believe to be up here in a Yukon and get a moose with a bow. It's, it's the greatest. Unbelievable. The size of this thing. And, uh, oh, we had fun joking around cool. in camp, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'd say. <laughs> a lot of laughs. That's what it's all about. This guy right here is extra. We're trying to uh, teach him a bit of Newfoundland, so. Yeah, yeah. Time he goes home, he's going to be talking like us, I hope. Yeah. He's a 33 point bull. <laughs> <laughs> well, succeed the first time but we'll end up succeeding. <laughs> oh, oh, good fire. Yeah, that was a long herd. Nice old moose up here at the Yukon at McMillan River Adventures with Dion and Daniel and myself Tony. And, I, uh, say, I gotta uh, say no. Daniel might not might not been there but uh, we can't tell all of our secrets. So a couple of things he done that really improved our hunt, uh -huh. our success. Anyway, so yeah, we have our secrets. No, yeah. that, that, nobody that, that's never will be told. That's right. <laughs> I want to thank uh, first of all my wife Joan for allowing me to come on a trip like this. I love her very much, and uh, this was a dream hunt. Um, I want to thank my mom. I know she worries about me when I do stuff like this, and uh, all my family. And my friends, Ron and Doc, and we got Craig Cuter and Sean Gray up in Montana rooting for me, and, uh, and a bunch of other buddies. John Nolan had a good hunt. Thanks, guys. Let's go home. Yeah. After a well-deserved rest, next morning we were back to head down river to where the moose was. To return it back to the It was the first time that we've ever tried this. Last year, the water wasn't high enough in the river, but now this year there's more water on so. We were hoping things were going to turn out pretty good. We got Daniel here, and then we got Jean Baptiste. He's climbed up the tree again to get his bearings. MHN, moose hunting maniac, or either moose hunting machine, whichever you prefer. You know where you're going, eh? Yeah, 400 yards to the moose. 400 yards to the moose. All right, I'm going to mark it off.
Guys back home, we all want to know how big, how heavy these moose weighed. About a quarter. So, I got a scale with me. And we're going to put the quarters on and weigh them like we do back home in Newfoundland. And find out for sure how big do these things weigh. So give us a few minutes of struggle. Well, I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'm going to give it a try. That's one quarter, hind quarter. I think we should get back. Oh my God, 120 already. You can't, I'll do it. Go! 170. Go! One, 190. We're at 200 and we're still touching the ground. Oh, yeah. Hold down. Hang on, hang on. You got her hanging. Okay. Oh, my goodness. 250 pounds. The, the iron quarter. Holy crap. Can you zoom in on that, Tony? Yeah. Dead on 250. Well, I didn't expect that. So you figure the front one is? Oh, the front one is going to be... Pushing 300. So I figure close to 300 pounds. Can you believe that? Sir. That's incredible. Beautiful. Is so I said it looked like a dinosaur, man. It's crazy. And the difference for, from the ones in uh, Newfoundland? Home? Newfoundland, yeah. Uh, would you say a big one would weigh what? A big hind quarter. 160 would be a big quarter. Yeah, my buddy got one a couple years ago. It was one, I think it was 145 in the back and 170 in the front. Yeah. 175. Biggest I've seen back home is 204. 206 in the front shoulder. So we are got to see if the, we can beat that record here. <laughs> okay, give it a try. There's the thermosel going. Recommended on Archer's Choice Show. While you're processing the bull, there's no bugs around. Okay. We we're pretty near done our our work of deboning this moose. But along with the quarter of meat, I want it to weigh the the antlers as well. Just antlers alone. My biggest back home was 26 pounds. 62 pounds. <laughs> They're a lot bigger. A lot bigger animals. Can you see the scale? Yeah, I zoomed in. Ooh. Yep. 62 pounds. Here comes Dion with the meat. This is his second trip. And it's not easy. It's about an hour round tripper. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Holy moly. How do you feel, buddy? I feel really light now. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Ay, 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 ay. One more to go. Wow. An hour. Look at that. The man's an angel. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is unbelievable. <laughs> what a size of the something to carry around your head. 62 pounds of antlers. Better watch out, there's other hunters around here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's an absolute angel. He's got wings. Look at that. <laughs> you gotta love it. This is one of Don's better boats, I guess, huh? Oh, Daniel. I'm going to pull it. Can I get this side for you, ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the meat is 
board a boat. We're ridden back to the lake. So long. We put everything in the boat and get it back upstream. Trying to get back with that dark on us. The current was so strong in the narrow parts of the river, we struggled to keep her, keep the boat from going back around and end up losing her downstream. I guess we were about halfway up the river and we came to a long, long city, which was a big break for us. And then we were back to the rapids again for about another mile before we got back to the lake. That's the, the trolling motor, do we need it? What you got to say about this, Dion? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's hard, but it's fun. <laughs> Almost got her. I just wish uh, all my buddies could be here. <laughs> Help us bring it out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where are they when you need them? You guys made it. Thank God. All the moose meat, the rack. Oh my God. Probably too much. It doesn't nothing. <laughs> All day job. Can you imagine? There's the chief moose guy right there. Like Dion says, it'll be something I'll never forget. And you know what? I think he's right. We got our we got our moose now. So now tonight we're celebrating, and we got moose tenderloin or some kind of moose anyway. Look at that. Cooked by Daniel. Looks good to me, sir. Heck of a meal. Heck of a meal. Unbelievable. Good. Perfect. The next day in the afternoon, we decided to go look for a grizzly. Tony had a grizzly tag as well. And we was early out of the boat when we heard a moose. So just for the fun of it, we decided to uh, try to sneak in closer to him and see how big he really was. This bull wouldn't really convince that we were another moose, 
seeing that we just walked along where that moose is standing right now. And I guess he could smell our tracks. But we did have plenty of time to shoot him with a bow, seeing we were about maybe 20 to 25 yards away from him. We, we got what we wanted, uh, we got lots of footage of them. We didn't take them, of course. So I'll be looking forward to seeing them again next year. I wasn't sure first what this moose was trying to do, but when I realized and seen that he was kneeling down to get a drink, I couldn't believe it. It was the last thing I expected to see. Did you have a bow shot? Oh yeah. A few of them. What, two, three times? You're smart though. Huh? He wouldn't really come out. Oh, uh, he smelt us a couple times. Yeah, see him sniffing. Yeah, the first time member over there. Mm -hmm. You still got him to come back out though. Pretty good. Still yours to make it so far. Yeah, no kidding. I thought it, at first when I saw him, I thought it was really big. And then when he come out over here, I started counting the points. That was beautiful, big friends. Yeah. So nice. That was a nice one, yeah. Later that evening we decided to go and try to catch a pike for, for supper. And as we was fishing, I looked up inside the ridge and there was this big bull just come out of nowhere. And if you like up close and personal, <laughs> you need to watch this. Seeing the big bull was coming in so fast, I gave Daniel my video camera so I could close the distance between me and him in a hurry. It was late in the evening 
and I wanted to see how close I could really get to him. I don't advise anyone to try this. Maybe I push my luck a little bit here. This big bull didn't want to back down. And for a few seconds it got, uh, got pretty tense there. Scared. You're a nut. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I don't know. Five yards? Twelve feet. Crazy. Tony's last night on the lake was an absolutely beautiful one. Driving back to camp, it was just gorgeous. And I'm sure that he's got a ton of memories he's going to always remember. And you never know that someday we might get a chance to do it all again. I sure hope so.
that Moose's antlers were any bigger, he'd get airborne when he started running. <laughs> hey, Daniel. <laughs> What's going on with those shoes, Dion? <laughs> oh, Go on, right? tell us. What's I can't right? have of it. <laughs> what happened, Daniel? <laughs> Somebody forgot the rugby boots. I left my <laughs> you, shoes back at the camp. <laughs> you, you look good. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna go get the moose now. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you can put that in your bloopers. <laughs> yeah. The hide's what? Very thick. <laughs> like Dion would say, it's very dense. Dance. <laughs> Make it fast, Daniel. Yeah, I got my side done. What a spill. A spill? What a spill. A spill. Oh boy. Look at that big moose. I mean mouse. <laughs> We're supposed to be looking for moose, not mouse. This one's got antlers on it though. Woo, what a trophy. I said if Don ever sees this film, I just want you to know the crow ate all her eggs. Three dozens of them sons of a guns. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are afraid to tell you that they left them outside. No. <laughs> <laughs> you ate the eggs, not the crows. No. Oh, oh, yeah, right. It was the crows. And they tried to catch it with a box. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to eat the crow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is Tony. I'm sitting down here by the river while the boys are up hauling down the meat from the moose I killed. And I'm talking way up in the timber, way, way up in the timber. And I'm sitting down here. I found all this food that they left. And I ate a sandwich, some water, a bunch of candy, see all the wrappers, juice. And it looks like I had a couple of uh, beef jerky and an apple I don't think they'll mind do you they don't need to eat because they're working right now so anyway we don't want all this food to go to waste so we'll just wait here and eat and until the boys get back with the meat they got to make four trips oh my god then the antlers and the cape oh, better men than I am oh here I am again, waiting by the river still. Took about an hour nap and woke up. I'm hungry again. But I don't know if there's any more food I've been digging for. for. Oh man, look what I found. I found cookies, oh boy. I got some cookies. You don't think those guys will get mad, do you? There's more food back at the camp. Oh, look at the cookies, I'm gonna eat cookies. Mmm, -mm, cookie monster. Mmm, enjoy the view. Eat a cookie. That's what I'm talking about. Life don't get better than this. Here comes Tony. Like he promised, he would bring this thing all the ways out of the woods. I can't believe he's gonna do it. I can do it. Huh? Almost there. Take your time, don't hurt yourself. Oh. I can do it. Yeah. I did it. I got my moose out. It's a good job I'm a liar.
Yeah, you're gonna get through there. <laughs> there you go. Just like the moose. To your right, to your right. How long walk was that? Half hour? That was exactly 45. I don't know. Coming out a round trip or what? One way. One way? Half an hour. Oh yeah? Yeah, well a little longer this time. You're pretty tough, eh? Yeah. I did it all the way. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh man. And you're down there here eating all the food. Yeah, right. What's the matter with you? You should be up there helping us. Here we are. We were sweating bullets. <laughs> we gotta load this board the boat now and go back up the river against the current for at least two miles. I think you ought to give me a tip, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>